Oh no, it's more. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark Yoon, and today I am bringing you another video. We're gonna do uh, Shadow Summons on Naruto Ninja Blazing. Um, first, we have to get um, one orb, so I looked at my event list, and we are going to do the, um, the resurrected uh, Haku. And so I'm gonna take my strength team, and we're gonna do this event really quick, and then we're gonna get the stones necessary to do our summons on the Shadow Banner. Being is that I already got my uh, Tsunade and uh, Naruto that I wanted, so this mission is not hard at all. It's just a bunch of uh, white Zetsu, and uh, they're, they go down pretty easily. The hardest part of this mission is, um, sorry if my cat gets in the frame, is um, we actually fight Haku and Zabuza themselves because Haku will put up an ice barrier, which prevents uh, uh, damaging. Uh, you have to pretty much use super attacks in order to do any kind of damage whatsoever on them. But the front part of this is just battling these white Zetsu, so there's not really a big deal here. Especially if you have some decent characters you're bringing along. Let me know in the comment section below which of the banners that you're actually summoning on. Are you going for light or are you going for shadow? I know I really want that um, eternal Mangeko Sharingan and Rinnegan uh, Sasuke from the shadow banner. Being as that I already got the Naruto and the Tsunade, so... Yeah, there's nothing much here. These, these guys don't really do any binding or any supers or anything like that. I recommend bringing, um, I have Shizune as a healer for, uh, for the heart, but if you don't have her, uh, I would bring them because, like I said, Zabuza actually does pretty often super and secret techniques on your characters. So he will drain your, your team's health bar pretty pretty fast, especially when he has the barrier up from Haku. If you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I do videos pretty much uh, four to five times a week, so I'll always be here as long as you guys are here. So here we're at the boss, and see she'll take the initiative and Haku, the, or he rather, I always forget it's a guy. Uh, the first thing that he will do is throw up the, the glacial dome, the ice barrier, and that'll actually shield both Zabuza and himself. So you can do a little bit of like string damage, so I usually take care of the white Zetsu first as I'm doing now, and um, if you like do team attacks on them that have a lot of hits, uh, the end usually will do damage to them, but very slight damage, so that's why I recommend just saving up your, your red supers for your six star characters and actually hitting them with a super. See if you see the Zaba's just doing perfect dodges and Haku's actually has barrier up, so it's really hard to actually do damage to them. But if you see, you see the attack dwindling down uh, because of the uh, because of their uh, their team attacks. But they will regain a little bit of health at the end of every attack too. So watch out for that. There's always a secret technique, which is silent killing. It's not going to do that much damage because I have the type advantage because their skill and I'm, I'm uh, uh, heart or red. But it's still going to dwindle us down because that barrier is really stopping us from causing any damage, and I'm waiting for my level 2 supers to arrive. Team attacks are necessary if you want to do any damage up to that, but they heal back up right away anyway, so it's pretty hard. See how he just did silent killing again? He does his secret technique like all the time in this, in this boss battle. It gets really old really fast. So using uh, my Madara's uh, Susano Spit, because that should do a chunk of damage. There we go, it's more than half, that's awesome. I think Daedara will probably be the last one to actually get his super, but we'll probably end up finishing him off with Daedara's uh, special attack. And as you see, I'm using Palm Sage Jutsu, that's why I brought Shizune, because like while your health is getting dwindled down, it is good to have a healer with you. 
however slight, because there's a very low chance of them actually killing you, but if you don't heal once in a while, it, those little attacks can actually do damage. So we got another level 2 super, Tailed Beast Bomb, let's see how this works out. See that perfect dodge is really a pain, but we have a little bit less now. So we are almost done this boss battle, and then we'll be on to the summons, which is the meat of why most of you guys are here. If I just did a summons, it would be like a one minute video, so that's why I like to do one of these missions first. There we go, we have Daedra's level 2, so we're going to finish them off right now with this. If you hear whining or yelling in the background, it's my cat, so just ignore him, sorry. And they are done. So that's going to give us the one uh, pearl that we actually needed, so we can move on over to the summons. It's not that hard of a mission, but Haku has a pretty low drop rate. I don't even think I have her yet. I do have Zabuza, though. I hate when the the lucky drop box gives us ninja pearls. It really, it's a pain. Alright, so we are going to head over to the village right now and just claim our rewards so that we can head into the summons. those of you just wanting to see the multi-summons, thanks for bearing with us. Just go into your present box as usual and collect your ninja pearl. Now that we have it, we're going to head right on over to the summons. And like I said, I'm going to be summoning on the shadow banner because I already have the cards I needed to be the light banner. So let's do it. Level 1 is 40. Pull back three times like usual to hope Sasuke appears. That was a little early, yeah. So, no Sasuke. But we have Sasuke right here, so that's good. Now, let's just hope that Sakura shows up. So, I'm gonna guarantee five star. Oh, we have two five stars anyway, awesome. Okay, let's see who they are. Silver. I can use them to power up my character's abilities, so that's fine. Five star number one is Sakon and Ukon, which I already have, so I'm going to use them for abilities. But anyway, I always like extra five stars. And our other five stars, Madara, which I already have, so... But that's going to be good, because I really want to lower his team cost, because his team cost is 80, so that should get him down to like 72. Alright, Baki, nobody cares about you. Alright, so we didn't get our character that we wanted, but we got some good characters, so we got our anniversary coins from that. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video, let me know who you pulled, and uh, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the future. That's all for today, and as always guys, remember to stay powered up. Peace.